In order to run region of interest analysis in FSL, first you need to create a mask which contains a subset of voxels that you want to analyze. Now to do this, we open up FSL view, and then we click on File, Open Standard, and we open up a template that is in the same space as our results. So in this case, I'm assuming that you've already run your first level analyses, combined them, and warped them into, say, MNI space. Okay, so right here, we have a brain in standard space. This is an MNI coordinates. And let's say that we want to build an ROI based on an atlas. And we want to restrict that to only, say, voxels that cover the right motor cortex. To do this, we go to Tools, uh, click on Toolbars, and then Atlas Tools. That'll bring up a new display down here, which first of all tells you where you are in the MNI brain according to these different atlases that you can specify. So go to Structures, and from this drop down menu, you see that you have several different atlases to choose from. Now, they're all slightly different in what structures they label. So, for example, one might focus on cortical structures and another might focus on subcortical structures. Go to the Julich Histological Atlas. I hope I pronounced that right. I probably just offended a bunch of people. But anyway, uh, scroll down and let's say we want this thing right here. Gray matter primary motor cortex, right. Okay, once you have that, you can first of all preview the selected structure. Okay, we see that's yeah, roughly in the right motor cortex, and then click on this plus sign to add it to your FSL view. And hit OK when you're done. Okay, now that you have that, you see that when you look at the intensity, this is actually a probabilistic map. I believe all the atlases in FSL are probabilistic maps. So it's classifying the actual structure that belongs to what the atlas says it belongs to based on. Uh, it's probability. Okay, so this is 56% 56, 56 probabilistic that it is actually right M1. And as you get closer to the fringe, you see that the intensity or the probability drops off. Get closer to the center, closer to the hot spot, the intensity goes up. All right, so after you have that and you have this highlighted right here, okay, so make sure it's shaded in blue or whatever highlight you have, go to File and then Save As. So now we're going to save out this region of interest, which we can then call in to, say, feed query. All right, so I'm going to call this right M1 and save it like that. Now if I close out FSL view and I look within here, uh, right M1 has been saved. Okay, so last thing I'm going to do is use FSL mass to binarize this. In other words, I don't want it to be a probabilistic map. I just want ones wherever the mask has any intensity that any intensity at all and zeros outside of the mask. So in that case, FSL mass and the input is going to be right M1, and then this flag THR stands for threshold. And let's say I want to keep everything above an intensity of 10. Okay, and my output is right M1 thresh.nai.gz. that's done, we can use FSL view to look at this new thresholded image. Open it up and okay. Last thing, I'm going to go back to the same command. Uh, this is a teaching moment. And another flag is the uh, dash bin which stands for binarize, which is what I should have done before. Okay, go back to FSL view, open that thing up and you'll see that it is 1, an intensity of 1 wherever the mask is and 0 otherwise. So if I want to see how this now looks on a standardized brain, go back, click Add Standard, then this brain. And if you want to change the foregrounding, you can click on these arrows here to bring the mask to the foreground. Okay, so it's very, very white where the mask is. And now you can go ahead and use that mask for ROI analysis in Feed Query.